you've built quite a few PCs. What's your advice on how to build a good custom PC for, uh, let's say, for the different applications that you use for gaming, for uh, machine learning? Well, you shouldn't build one. You should buy a box from the Tiny Corp. I heard rumors, whispers about this box from the Tiny Corp. What's what's this thing look like? What is, what is it? What is it called? Uh, it's called the Tiny Box. Tiny Box. Um, it's it fifteen thousand dollars. Yeah. And it's almost a petaflop of compute. It's over 100 gigabytes of GPU RAM. It's over five terabytes per second of GPU memory bandwidth. Uh, I'm gonna put like four NVMEs in, in, in RAID. You're gonna get like 20, 30 gigabytes per second of drive read bandwidth. I'm gonna, I'm gonna build like the best deep learning box that I can that plugs into one wall outlet. Okay. Can you go through the specs again a little bit from your from memory? Yeah. So it's almost a petaflop of compute. So AMD, Intel? Today, I'm leaning toward AMD. Mm -hmm. um, but we're pretty agnostic to the type of compute. The, the, the main limiting spec is a 120 volt, 15 amp circuit. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean it because in order to like, like there's a plug over there, mm -hmm. all right? You have to be able to plug it in. Um, we're also going to sell the tiny rack, which like, what's the most power you can get into your house without arousing suspicion? Uh, and one of the, one of the answers is an electric car charger. Wait, where does the rack go? Your garage. Interesting. The car charger. A wall outlet is about 1500 Watts. A car charger is about 10,000 Watts. Okay. <laughs> what is the most amount of power you can get your hands on without arousing suspicion. That's right. George Hotz. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so the the tiny box, and you said NVMEs and RAID. Uh, I forget what you said about memory, all that kind of stuff. Okay. So uh, what about what GPUs? Again, probably, probably 7,900 XTXs, but right. maybe 3090s, maybe A770s. Those are Intel's. You're flexible or still exploring? I'm still exploring. I want to I want to deliver a really good experience to people, mm -hmm. and yeah, what GPUs I end up going with. Again, I'm leaning toward AMD. It, we'll, we'll see. You know, in my email, what I what I said to AMD is like, just dumping the code on GitHub is not open source. Open source is a culture. Mm -hmm. Open source means that your issues are not all one year old stale issues. Open source means developing in public, and if you guys can commit to that. I see a real future for AMD as a competitor to NVIDIA. Well, I'd love to get a uh, tiny box to MIT. So whenever it's ready, we'll do. let's do it. We're taking pre-orders. I, I, I took this from Elon. I'm like, all right, $100 fully refundable pre-orders. Is it going to be like the Cybertruck? It's going to take a few years or? No, nah, I'll try to do it faster than that. It's a lot simpler. It's a lot simpler than a truck. Well, there's complexities, not to just the uh, putting the thing together, but like shipping and all this kind of stuff. The thing that I want to deliver to people out of the box is being able to run 65 billion parameter llama in FP16 in real time, in like a good, like 10 tokens per second or five tokens per second or something. Just, it works. Yep. Just Llama's works. running uh, or something like llama. Experience, yeah, or I think Falcon is, is, is the new one. Experience a chat with the largest language model that you can have in your house. Yeah. From from a wall plug. From a wall plug, yeah. Actually, for inference, it's not like even more power would help you get more. <laughs> even more power wouldn't get you more. Uh, well, no, there's just the biggest param the biggest model released is is 65 billion parameter llama, as far as I know. So it sounds like Tiny Box will naturally uh, pivot towards company number three because you could just get the girlfriend and uh, I mean, uh, or boyfriend. That one's harder, actually. The boyfriend is harder. The boyfriend's harder. Yeah, I think that's a. Very biased statement. I no. think a lot of people would disagree. What's what? Why is it harder to replace a boyfriend than a, a the girlfriend with the artificial LLM? Because women are attracted to status and power, and men are attracted <laughs> to youth and beauty. <laughs> no, I mean that's what I mean. But what both are can be are mimicable, easy through the language model. No, no machines do not have any status or real power. I don't know. I think you both. Well, first of all, you're using language mostly uh, to to communicate youth and beauty and power and sure. status. But status fundamentally is a zero-sum game, right? Whereas youth and beauty are not. No, I think status is a narrative you can construct. I, I don't think status is real. I don't know. I, I just think that that's why it's harder. You know, yeah, maybe it is my biases.
I think status is way easier to fake. I also think that, you know, men are probably more desperate and more likely to buy my product. So maybe they're a better target market. <laughs> Desperation is interesting. Easier to fool. Yeah. That's, I could, I could see that. Yeah. Look, I mean, look, I know you can look at porn viewership numbers, right? A lot more men watch porn than women. Yeah. You can ask why that is. Wow. There's a lot of questions and answers you can get there. Anyway, with the, with the tiny box, how many GPUs in tiny box? Six. <laughs> oh man um, and i'll tell you why it's six yeah uh so amd epic processors have 128 lanes of pcie mm -hmm. um i want to leave enough lanes for some uh drives mm -hmm. and i want to leave enough lanes for some uh networking how do you do cooling for something like this ah that's one of the big challenges not only do i want the cooling to be good i want it to be quiet I want yeah. the tiny box to be able to sit comfortably in your room. Right? This is really going towards the girlfriend thing. Because <laughs> you want to run the LLM. I'll give, I'll give a more, I mean, I can talk about how it relates to company number one. Comma AI. Yeah. Well, <laughs> but yes, quiet. Oh, quiet because you maybe potentially want to run it in a car. No, no, quiet because you want to put this thing in your house and you want it to coexist with you. If it's screaming at 60 dB, you don't want that in your house. You'll kick it out. 60 dB, yeah. Yeah, I want like 40, 45. So how do you make the cooling uh, quiet? That's an interesting problem in itself. Um, a key trick is to actually make it big. Ironically, it's called the tiny box. Yeah. But if I can make it big, um, a lot of that noise is generated because uh, of high pressure air. Mm -hmm. If you look at like a 1U server, a 1U server has these super high pressure fans. They're like super deep and they, they're like gen engines. Versus if you have something that's big, well, I can use a big, and you know, you know they call them big ass fans, those ones that are like huge on the ceiling. And they're completely silent. So tiny box will be big. It is the, uh, I do not want it to be large according to UPS. I want it to be shippable as a normal package, but that's my constraint there. Interesting. Well, the the fans stuff it can't can't it be assembled on location or no? No, no, it has to be. Well, you're you're. No, I, look, I want to give you a great out of the box experience. I want you to lift this thing out. I want it to be like like the Mac, you know, tiny box. <laughs> the Apple experience. Yeah, I love it. Okay, and so tiny box would run tiny grad. Like, what 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 do you envision this whole thing to look like? We're talking about like uh, Linux with a full software engineering environment mm -hmm. and it's just not PyTorch, but tiny grad. Yeah. We did a poll if people want Ubuntu or Arch, we're gonna stick with Ubuntu. Ooh, interesting. What's your favorite uh, flavor of Ubuntu. Linux? Ubuntu. I like Ubuntu Mate, however you pronounce that, meat. So how do you, uh, you've gotten Llama into tiny grad, mm -hmm. you've gotten Stable Diffusion into tiny grad. What was that like? 